of a packed student section. Hoosiers will kick it away. To Braden Wislowski. Indiana and Maryland underway from College Park. And a touchback begins this Saturday afternoon. And Maryland will bring out one of the best quarterbacks in the Big Ten, if not the best. On the first snap of the day, Tunga Bailoa to throw off the play fake. And down the field complete, and a big play to begin for Tunga Bailoa. Smith down the sideline and out of bounds. Jay Sean Jones, they get him a touch right away. Jay Sean Jones held without a catch last week. Big play right away, and Tunga Bailoa to the end zone and incomplete. Tunga by low, a quick pop out for Felton, looking for the edge, and gets around the edge, and Ty Felton in for a touchdown for Maryland. A big hitter on the first play to Jay Sean Jones, Ty Felton. The end of the end zone after a week. Did that first 25 seconds just set the table for a shootout? Cool. No, I hope not. But I think... Uh, one of the things that Indiana is going to have to take into account, and, and they, they know it, this is a really fast Maryland team. Mike Lockley's done a nice job of putting together a lot of speed. Indiana has a very fast return man, Jalen Lucas, who squirts through the initial surge, and Jalen Lucas out into open space across midfield and into plus territory. With 4-4-40 speed for Jalen Lucas. Taven Jackson to throw on the first play. And underneath, Trey Walker, his tight end. Lucas, the motion man. It's Turner for the first time, and tough earned yards between the tackles for a first down. You mentioned protecting Jackson. When they did against Louisville a couple weeks ago, he looked really good second half. And a quick pop out. Another catch for Trey Walker. It was Jalen Lucas's long return that set up Indiana in plus territory. And back on the ground with Turner, and he knifes out of that tackle and across the 15 for a first down. And Turner after his first down beside Jackson. And it's Turner again. He cuts it back off the back of his offensive lineman. Will the hit stick be out for Hippolyte and Barham down in the goal line, right in front of the student section. And it's Turner. Those guys up front have a power and a speed back with Lucas and Turner behind him. And it's the power back getting stuffed. Turner had nowhere to go with Christian Teague leading that surge of Terps. And Indiana not putting the offense on the field on fourth down. Instead, it's a Freeman field goal. And Indiana answers back the opening drive score for the Terps to make it 7-3. to three. Pretty well until they got inside the 10. So settled for three, the 25-yard field goal for Freeman. If you've got a quarterback, you got a chance. A big blast play to Jones on his first play of the day. And he goes underneath. The Big Ten's leading passer. Already with a touchdown strike in this game. And he goes field side and accurate with that to Prather again. So many options for Tunga Vailoa to spread it around to. And here's another one, Roman Hemby out of the backfield for a short game. The pressure coming from Casey. Maryland running into it. And Roman Hemby makes it a third down and medium. Hemby shuffles out away from that motion. Tunga Bailoa complete to the touchdown score, Felton. So Felton and Prather have been the two favorite targets on this drive for Tunga Bailoa. Off of a play fake. Going deep downfield. Wants Prather. And it's knocked away. Didn't quite come down with it, but Miner did a nice job with that. Oh, oh, after nice the knockaway, big hit up at the line for Aaron Casey. You could hear that. You got to You got to keep him in that pocket. Don't let him out. They do. He throws to an empty area. There was no one in the area. It's a loss of down. Fourth down from the spot of the pass. It's no harm, no foul there. That penalty really, he just wanted to throw his flag. That's, that's Jerry. I know Jerry. He likes to throw his flag. <laughs> But from that analysis, it sounded like you didn't agree with the grounding call. Well, it really doesn't matter. It, 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 they have to make the call, but it, it doesn't matter. 
Jalen Lucas back to get the Spangler punt. And after his big kick return oh, earlier, backwards. he is contained. And the still is up on the top side of your screen on first snap of this possession for Indiana. And that's off hands, incomplete. You have to master the underneath stuff first because you're going to get that. And pumped on his first look that and benches mistake. it. Bring up third down. Ball hasn't moved yet on this drive for Indiana. On a third down and ten, it's fluttered out by Jackson. And that's incomplete. Ruled incomplete. Well, Ruben Hippolyte coming from that inside linebacker spot. Got the pressure on Jackson. And that ball is on the deck. That's going to be a, Maryland's back on it. And yeah, that flag does come out. It's going to be an interference on the receiver. The first Terp defensive player to score a touchdown since 1996. And it's Tonga by low in the Terps offense. On the field first. Easy touchdown of the first play. Second one of the day for Felton. So two explosive plays through the passing game for Maryland. And two touchdowns. So two touchdown drives for Maryland, both thrown by Tungavailoa, both to Felton. And a touchback and no chance for Luke. When Sean Greeley was saying, that's exactly like I did it last week. I was wide open. Ty Felton learned that from me. Exactly. Jalen Lucas to the outside, nothing there. And not a lot of touches for him last week. Back to back touches for him. And he's going lateral and backwards again. Jeremy Spragans, part of that deep linebacker room for Maryland on the play. Yeah. On third and 17. Jackson with pressure and down he goes. Caleb Wheatland in on the sack. Yeah, Wheatland. Not a nice, not a good job of the running back inside of picking up pressure. And the three and out for Indiana. And Jay Sean Jones with a running start on this return. Weaving across the 30. And down he goes. There is a flag. Legal formation on the kicking team. Five yard penalty will be added on to the end of the run. First down. Uh, two out of the three drives, they've already scored. Here's Tunga Vailoa pulling it out of there and a clear path to the end zone. A little bit of a read option. So two throwing touchdowns for Tunga Vailoa. Now one on the grounds. Mike's been doing this for a while. He's That's a good coach. And another touchback for House. Now what's Taven Jackson got? With his team in a big hole early. And Trey Walker upended. And it kind of looks like that right now. They need to get players down the field. Looking to go vertical on third down with Jackson out of the pocket. He runs around Teague, and Jackson incomplete. Had a chance. Carter was breaking free of his defender. That doesn't make for a very rhythmic offense. And Evans to punt. Jones the return man. And out of bounds at the 38. Last couple of weeks after they played Louisville. So they got beat on a play early in that game. Then they shorted it up. And so, you know, you often hear that. I went back and watched the film, and he was 100% right. It's exactly what happened. Well, they kept the run game in front of them. All right, so they're... It looks like they, they, they're in man, but they're playing off. Ball comes quick. Got to make the tackle. Well, Linnell Carr was out there, and he got help. <laughs> And that's short of the first down. A play made. As long as they can get the uh, time to be able to throw it, Tonga Viola is going to have his way. Well, this latest drive did stall. So Indiana's defense holding Maryland for the second time. Jalen Lucas bobbles it, and then he's chopped down. <laughs> They're in an 18-point hole and deep in their own territory to start the second quarter. And Matt, that's what they need more of, more of Turner. Jackson's had to do it by himself in the passing game. It hasn't been good. When he has a run game in front of him, it's different. And two runs. Get this run game going. Best thing you could ever do is get your, get up the field. 
And Jalen Lucas does get up the field across the 30. And Lucas, their top playmaker, motions out. Lucas is up the field, over the middle. Donovan McCauley with a leaping catch. Great job. And for the first time today, Matt, Indiana backed up, driving it down. If you're a Maryland fan, you're like, wait, this guy plays receiver now? How about it? He was the starting quarterback last time the Hoosiers came to College Park in 2021. Off a of play fake. Good time. Jackson incomplete. Yeah. Safety drop down. And back to the run game, and Turner bounces it, running away from Hippolyte. And it's been a strong start to this drive. And Turner out of the backfield into the slot. Jackson given time and out to the sticks and a breakthrough for a first down. Yeah, they're thin right now on a couple spots. Jalen Lucas at halfback and Ruben Hippolyte in filling a hole. Don't run him inside. Keep him on the outside. And pulling it out of the back that reminds you of the flea. Jackson running himself. And the tight end Walker is flexed out. And they do run it. And that's not enough for the sticks, but probably a go for it spot here. I would down 18 so. points. Yep. And down 18 points of fourth and three of the offense on the field. And Jackson complete under the middle. And that's McCulley again, his second catch on this drop. It was a long drawn out battle for him to win the job. And Jackson slices it inside, but incomplete. Inches away. Uh, Lucas bounces it. And Glenn Miller in making the tackle with the helmet flying off. Comes a blitz. And Jackson out quickly to the single side and incomplete. Shepard and Cooper, the two battling down inside the red zone. Pressure Man, coming off the edge. Jackson out of the first hit and incomplete. The Maryland defense holds up inside the red zone with Bo Braden coverage. Excellent coverage. Maryland just got a red zone stop on fourth down. And Tunga by Loa to the edge and a leaping catch made. With the play on first down on the Indiana defense. Tunga by Loa inside of Carter and on the move delivers that to Prather. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate the impersonation too. <laughs> Cross the middle for a first down for Ty Felton. On first and ten, it's Hemby and Aaron Casey wrapping around from the other side of the formation. Yeah. Him and Andre Carter tied for the Big Ten lead and tackles for a loss. Tonga Bailoa protected over the middle, and that ball flutters incomplete. And Dunham got a little face mask there, too, yeah, on the way down. Yeah. Fourth third down of this game. Tonga Bailoa and Maryland one of three on third down. A minor coming on the pressure and Tunga Bailoa with a receiver down on the edge. Prather. Three scoring drives of a minute or less for the Terps. But giving it back to Jordan in the Indiana offense. And it'll be a long field for Taven Jackson and Indiana when they come back into the field mid second quarter. You know, and they start, it starts in the spring when you start talking about it, and then it goes right through the season. And once you have a guy and a group of guys that understand get the football, it's all about the ball, yeah, that's contagious. And it's been the guys up front and in the back four as well. And Tarheeb still the pick last week. So this drive for Indiana comes after they stalled at the red zone on fourth down. Jalen Lucas uh, can't shift out of there. Christian T. Right now. Can he be calm on third down? Exactly. It's it's mental discipline is what it is. Jackson. Out of the pocket. And Jackson calmly completes it. And he has a first down to extend the drive. And pulls it out. 
And dumps it down to Turner, who can't circle away from Wheatland, who stayed with it. Can, can she play here? <laughs> Probably play a little quarterback. That's the quarterback of their offense in volleyball. The Jackson running the option, and Perry is chopped down. And shopping for turtlenecks while we met with him. <laughs> That's appropriate, a turtleneck down here for the Terrapins. Jackson avoids the first rush, and on the move, that ball is caught. Is caught. And a first. So two third down throws on the move for Jackson. And back to his back, Turner. And Jackson on the move again. Got him. And over the middle, incomplete. Missed him. A third down and six. And a quick pop and a big hit. Carter hangs on to it. And two timeouts before halftime with a buck go nine to go. When Jackson pulls it out, he feathers out and's not going to get there. Great defense. Kellen Wyatt turns the ball over back to Maryland. Maryland with three quick strike touchdown drives in this first half. They have three timeouts, half the field to get in one minute and two seconds before halftime. Tungavailoa moving the pocket and it's broken up, leading the Big Ten in interceptions with three on the year. Tungavailoa sideline shot and a huge hit. So 53 seconds still on the clock. You always want to stay away from the head and neck area in there, and that's what that's what you saw there. And a big hit for Sanguinetti sets up this third down and ten. And Indiana runs it with Littleton, and their power back breaks into the second level with a hurdle. Yeah. And out of bounds to stop the clock. And Indiana's showing some pressure off the edge here, Matt. They're showing some pressure. Let's see if they go through. They look at the safety moved over, and here it comes, and he's going right to it. And they replace Pierre with the tight end underneath. And right where that blitz was coming from is where Preston Howard caught that ball. And growing confidence for Preston Howard after he didn't play all last year. A couple catches over the past few weeks. Tungabailoa pulls it out and strikes it in for six more. Ty Felton with a hat trick in the first half. And that is way wide left for House. Shankadelic. I'm impressed with Talia Tungabailoa. He's uh, the game doesn't get bigger than him. He's in control and he's accurate. That, what else do you want? Uh, Jackson out to the edge for Cooper and out of bounds with 30 seconds left and get something positive going into the break. They'll get it right back. Now, the one thing right now you can see what they're doing is they're giving the quarterback time to throw. They have not gotten a lot of pressure unless they have brought an extra guy. McCullough here comes out the nice cash and they're going to. Stop the clock as they move the chains. Indiana still with the two timeouts. Approaching midfield. And underneath, it's juggled. And it's intercepted. Off the hands of Lucas. Gote with the pick. You see if Tungavailoa takes those good feelings and gets real aggressive before well, halftime. They, they got a delay of game right here. That'd take a shot. Why wouldn't you? They got size, they got speed. And the tongue of Iloa will throw it with 13 seconds left. And underneath to Corey Deitches. And he's drilled out of bounds. To the end zone that's 46 yards away. Three in the pattern, and he goes short. All those DBs back. Jones pointing out blockers, but he won't get one. And <laughs> the half is over. He was looking for the ball. <laughs>
Just the one sack until that, but a ton of impactful pressure. On third and nine, Jackson. And incomplete over the middle. Not as accurate as you'd want him to be. It's a fake for Indiana, it's and the short. slant is short. Indiana does not get there. If it's your mom sitting out there at home, hey, he did a great job. The tongue of Iloa handing off for Hemby on the first play for Maryland on offense, and Mangum Farrar doesn't allow him to the outside. They've got good skill people. The pressure from Pierre, tongue of Iloa. Pointing downfield as he spins out, and Jones circles back to make this a third down and short. Well, one of the big concerns that Indiana had is keeping him inside the pocket. Matt Guerrero, the defensive coordinator for Indiana, compared him to Johnny Manziel when he was at the peak in college. And a quick hit out, and Indiana's right there all over it with Pierre. Howes from 44. And after a 40 plus yarder last week, he adds another to the bank. Major I mean, Harris. Really good. Major Harris stand up a few times if you're a Terps fan. Yeah, it could be, but he does that a lot. So you get used to it. <laughs> you broke down all his traits. How about his dancing? What do you got on that? Yeah, I'm not a, much yeah. of a dancer. Yeah. I... Here's Jalen Lucas outside, short gain. Tonga Vailoa, he keeps this up. He is on pace to pass Curtis Painter as the big time as the Big Ten's all-time leading passer. Here's Lucas stumbling his way to the outside. The other Matt, they had to kick a short field goal. On the play, fake Jackson whips it out quickly and right in front of Kobe, incomplete. Flag down. Ineligible receiver, downfield, number 50. Five-yard penalty. So he doesn't not have a headache. Not, first not a headache for Jerry. <laughs> After the penalty, running the option, and Jackson out to Turner and can't get much there. After Indiana doubled down this week, saying they're going to be a run first team. I understand what he was trying to say there. A lot of time. See, a lot of time to make that throw, but there's the guys are covered down the field, so he went through he went through his entire read, right? <laughs> Hoosiers three of 11 on third downs today. And Jackson incomplete. You know, the whole season, is, as long as I've been watching it. And Jay Sean Jones calls for the fair catch. I think it's uh, Milanovic. Might be. Could Good. be. Should be. Good guess. Take a look at a couple plays. Uh, Tonga by Loa. Another big play downfield. It's Jay Sean Jones. We thought he should have had a touchdown. Jay Sean Jones got tackled by the 40 yard line. He's not going to like that when he watches on Tim. He's wide open. Wide open, and he's got room to spare. And that 40 yard line was brutal on him. Little mine down there. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stretch it to the outside, and Indiana strings it out with Cox. Done to Elise. <laughs> over to head coach Tom Allen went over to his defense says we got to get takeaways the goal for this defense three a game that would certainly do something for their momentum and keep an eye on Jalen Lucas right now he's being worked on by athletic trainers when he made that play running out of bounds he tweaked something with that left foot they just finished up taping it up so that would be a big hit their top playmaker Jalen Lucas they spread him all around the field but over getting treatment with this team down 27. Tonga by Loa incomplete. Dropped. Should have been a catch. And Caden Prather. Sharp was right there ready to make the play. Sharp was on his backside, but Prather's got to make that catch. It's the difference between a good play and a great play. A typically reliable receiving core. Remember, they turned over three guys that went over to the NFL after last year. They, and you know, they've always had guys who can run down here. They, this, this is a, like I said earlier, this is a fast. It may be their fastest team they've had. The football fast too, right? Not just forty-yard dash fast. And defensive coordinator from Maryland was saying that, yeah, been around a while. 
Definitely flag. the fastest team. Delay a game, clock at zero. As soon as that happened and flag came out, Talia's shoulders just dropped and he looked at the sideline like, what are you doing? Now he's very competitive. I mean, very competitive. Coach Loxley knows that. Tries to keep his spirits up, but a play like that, Talia just lets it happen. And the third and 19 after the penalty. And Tunga Vailoa going for Felton again. What a day for Ty Felton. First down inside the five. Still a big play. And Felton with the three touchdowns. And Tunga Vailoa underneath for another one. They keep pouring it on for Maryland. Play action, gets him out on the edge. Easy score. I've been impressed with him just because he he goes, if there's anybody open, he finds them. He sees the field very well. And Brendan Sorsby's in the game at quarterback for Indiana. On Sorsby's first snap of the day, he finds McCulley. And complete out. Across the 30 yard line for a nine yard gain. So Felton, 25 career games. He had two touchdowns before today. And before halftime, he had three in this game against Indiana. Yeah, and so he, he's shown what he can do, obviously. And they, uh, Indiana has not had an answer for Felton. And a lot of that is on the quarterback because the quarterback is the one who's moving back there and creating time and giving Felton an opportunity to be able to, to get open. Jalen Lucas was getting checked out. Elise was over looking at Lucas, and he's back in there for a first down. So Brendan Sorsby in one of the tightest quarterback battles that Tom Allen has ever seen at Indiana lost out very, very narrowly to Taven Jackson, but he's into the game for the first time since that announcement was hap uh, happened a couple of weeks ago. And so what he needs to do is come into a situation and and just relax. It's hard. It's easy to say it's hard to do. But just relax and take the throws that are presented to him. That two throws in this one incomplete. Didn't see the safety sitting in the middle. That uh, is not a good decision. And Levain Scruggs had the coverage. And Sorsby almost gave it away. Yeah, so at the next level, you'd call that a kill ball because the safety sitting inside waiting for that receiver to come to him. You're not going to be greeted very nicely when you come back to the huddle with the quarterback. And he's put in a position to get drilled. Sorsby on second down and 10. Off a of play fake, and he runs right into the heart of the Maryland defense. Fourth third down, here's Elise. Walt Bell told us that two players have not handled this competition better than Brendan and Taven. When Brendan was warming up, Taven was right there standing by watching. That's exactly what he's doing right now on the sideline on every play. Third and 10. Walt Bell said it a couple of weeks ago, Elise, and this will be poignant for Maryland fans. Walt Bell was the offensive coordinator at Maryland in 2017 when Tyrell Pigram beat out Kasim Hill as the quarterback. That was the closest competition before this one this summer in this fall camp. And Sorsby was right there trying to win the job with Jackson. And then Sorsby takes off and he stays in bounds and rolls across the 45, but he is short of the first. It'll be fourth down and two. And a backup quarterback in the game. Fourth down and two. You would think you'd go for it. Nothing to lose here, but the punt unit starts running onto the field. Yeah. On top of that, Tarib Steele, he limped off the field. On the sideline, doesn't. So one of the best defensive backs for Maryland off the field. That's. Obviously a, a big hit if he can't come back, but I definitely need him next week against Ohio State with those wide receivers. 
He knows his team's in control right now. And back on the ball after the punt for Indiana. And Tunga Vailoa to Felton, who's been his top guy today with three touchdowns and another big gainer. Out to the 35-yard line with a fresh set of downs. Felton's been having his way. He's been open all over the place. And the one thing, like we've been talking about, if uh, if Talia, if, if you're open, he's going to find you. He's he's in. Like I said, he is in control of this game now. This this is the best I've seen him play. And the Littleton had the big hurdling run in the first half and out to the edge again. <laughs> it's not Boomer. I'll say that. <laughs> But this is uh, who wants to be a millionaire. Is your answer final? That is my final answer. <laughs> well, you're, you're thinking. You're selling me on it like you had to think about it. Exactly. A quick pop in there. Octavian Smith had a touchdown last week against Michigan State. He brings up uh, third down and short coming for the Terps offense. This Terps offense has depth at the receiver. They have depth at the running back spot. The offensive line is the spot that they need depth. And, and the O-line's played pretty solid here today. But I think if, when they get up to the, the better teams in the, uh, in the Big Ten, that's where they're going to have to shore it up. Clearly, they have the quarterback spot covered. Littleton driving his legs. That's a first. And the baby bus has the first down. Well, one of those games is coming next week. Mike Loxley told us this week, getting his team to not look ahead to Ohio State. That's a, a big noon game next Saturday in Columbus. That's easy. That's that's really, really easy, and it's looked like it before they play the Buckeyes on the road next weekend. Yeah, that, that's going. So they have the skill set to be able to compete with Ohio State. Um, I don't know if they can go the four quarters, and because of the up front, I think Ohio State's a little bit better than them up front. Roman Hemby on first down and he keeps the pile moving. He was stopped and then he wasn't. Roman Hemby looking like Antoine Littleton with the power. <laughs> well, and there was a time when that would have been illegal. That rule now has been changed. So you can you can get on his back and push him all you want. And that's exactly what they do to the tune of about man, maybe maybe four or five yards there. Yeah, they did more than that. Six, seven, eight. Maybe nine more yards. That's, that's a good push. We're a lateral shy of that being rugby. <laughs> well, we talked to Josh Gaddis yesterday, the offensive coordinator for the Turfs. He talked about these skill guys, including Tungavai Loa, who took a hit, almost got down before Noah Pierre did get a lick on him. But looking ahead to Ohio State next weekend, that's not the point that he was making, but. He did bring up an interesting point. He feels like they are a top two team in the Big Ten as far as their skill guys. Right. He didn't say it explicitly, but he meant Ohio State as the number one team. Yeah, and and you could see that, a, and that's that. I think um, you know Penn State fans would have something to say about that. Michigan fans would have something to say about that, but I think it's fair. Roman Hemby off tackle. And that's the end of the third quarter. First couple games for Maryland, looking for a 5 0 record for the first time since 2001. That was the year they went to the Orange Bowl. Start of the fourth quarter, third down and five for Tunga Bailoa and the offense for the Terps. And going end zone in the sideline, and it's incomplete. Margin of error of five yards. There you go. When plus you're Matt Millen. Plus or minus. And it's blocked. So Howes can't get it to the uprights. He and waited. Dunham waited. And now you got big guys on the field for Maryland. And Dunham taking off. And he's dragged across midfield. And then, of course, it was picked up and returned. Good field position here for Indiana. And Brendan Sorsby still at quarterback with Christian Turner Christian driving the ball forward. Remember Josh Henderson out for a second straight game. Another physical back that they have with Turner. And it is back to back runs for Turner. And I saw some scouts at halftime and one of the guys they were talking about was him. And here's Turner zigzagging with Sorsby under center. 
And Soresby pushes forward on the quarterback sneak, and he's got enough. That's where you were down there at the bottom of those piles doing things that shouldn't be done, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Soresby steps up and throws a good ball and completes it to DeKeese Carter. That's a great throw. Yeah, then get his career going earlier. They need a jump start some. They, they've got to get this thing together. And he faces pressure and incomplete. The source beat to the edge and McCauley in for a touchdown. And it took him three and a half minutes to drive it down and Soresby with the touchdown pass. All part of the pregame family weekend festivities in College Park. People get dressed up as a turtle or something? <laughs> Just the net. And Tungvaloa continues to spread it around. Tonga Vailoa still in there after the Indiana touchdown underneath to Hemby. It looks, it looks effortless for him. You see, that, that's, that's when you know a guy's in control. So the first guy goes through his reads, doesn't like it, comes back to the second, boom, ball comes right out. A good story that Roman Hemby told us yesterday. Hemby's one of the fastest guys on this team. A guy that can hit you for a big play in the run game. He was always the fastest kid growing up. Grade school, high school. It was very early, one of his first days on campus. He got to Maryland. He knew he was off the throne when he saw Ty <laughs> Felton run, the exactly. guy who's had the big day. That's exactly right. He said, as soon as I saw Ty Felton run, I knew I wasn't the fastest guy on this team anymore. Uh, Hemby still has good wheels and into the second level and tripped up with a first down. Nice job up front. This has been a good job all day long by this offensive line. You can see Bullock getting into the block, and then nice job by Long 76. And they're just they're just moving people, and Hemby just takes advantage of it. And Rico Walker works back to make that block. Now he gets rewarded with a catch, and he's upended across the 45. It's not just typical pass catching wide receivers. They go four deep in the tight end room, guys that all play and all play big snaps. Skill-wise, skill they've got it. They've got really good skill people. It's fun to watch right now, Talia and this offense. And he just taking his time and just give me an open guy and I'll find him. And they pumped on it and then threw it into the dirt. Yeah, because he had good coverage, so he just threw it away. He didn't want to turn it into a bad play. A smart play. He has the advantage, of course, with his brother. And they work out and talk about football all the time. And, and once you have that and you can share, start sharing thoughts and ideas and that kind of thing, it, it, the maturing process picks up pretty quickly, as Coach Loxley told us yesterday. Hemby riding his offensive line for a first down, stays on his feet and stumbles inside the 25-yard line with another chain-moving run. Yeah, he lost his shoe. Somebody did. Yeah, it's him. Nice job by Hemby. Nice job of getting him out to the edge by that offensive line. Once you're at the second level, that's on you as a running back. There's a good job of keeping your balance and picking up another yeah, 12 yards or so. A one-footed Roman Hemby. Get extra <laughs> yards for that. Talia took care of it. He tied it up. Ooh, nice job of coming in on a blitz. And Andre Carter cleaned it up. Yeah, he came in clean. Nobody touched him. And Carter's a guy that makes Indiana look different up front. They've been really happy with what he's brought them. First in the Big Ten and tackles for a loss. As a unit back in today. That's where we've seen some leakage for Indiana. Tonga by Loa extending, telling his guys to run downfield. There's Hemby again. And Hemby along the sideline. That, that's, that's a perfect example right there of Talia. He does a lot of things, and, he, and he's good at it. One of the things he's really good at is helping his teammates. So if you got a shoe. He's a shoehorn expert. He's a shoehorn expert, yeah. And this is after it's tied. And then he just, you know, calmly gets back under center and makes the throw and 
business as usual. We've seen some of the elementary school skills come out today for Maryland. They counted to three in the end zone. There you go. And now they're tying shoes. There's Hemby into the teeth of that Indiana defense, and he didn't get there. No, he didn't. Maryland's perfect on fourth down this year. Tungavailoa, end zone, another touchdown for Prather. He hangs on for six more for the Terps. Remember, he also ran for one also. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's responsible for seven. See how fast I did that? <laughs>77 offense, five yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Well, buck 65. Is that what they list them as? Yeah. Yeah, and they're usually gathering more, I mean, adding more onto them. It's a nice read. Mm -hmm. I follow you on there. I've yeah. seen you verified on TikTok. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> the Soresby complete again. And a herd of Terps up to hit Perry. And he was a yard short of the first down. So. Soresby stays out there to try to keep the drive going for the Hoosiers. And he does underneath. It's Perry again. And like you said, he's a guy that's got a little magic in his feet. He's gotten open a couple of times in this fourth quarter. Hey, 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 those guys that have that make you miss in them, you can't get enough of them. Not the biggest guy, but I like the way he, he gets vertical. He wants to get vertical right away. Remember, Howard Griffith did a... Uh, interview with Jalen Lucas during the camp tour mm -hmm. and Jalen Lucas in that interview with Howard went out of his way to point out Perry. Oh is that right? Yeah. Well, this is a guy that not a lot of people know about. Super quick runs really good routes. People are going to find out about him according to his teammate Jalen Lucas. He's the target on this play and almost fed it in there to Perry again. Yeah he had to thread the needle there. He almost did but I think he was out of bounds when, by the time that got there. One of the things you have to be careful of is the transfer portal. When you have a young talent like that, you want to hold on to them. Well, that was the fear with the quarterbacks, too. You have the two that you really trust if you're Indiana. And can you keep both Jackson and Sorsby for their career? What have you thought of Sorsby? Is this offense looked crisper in your eyes compared to the first half. Well he's settling down right now you can see it now now in all fairness it's not against their first group of guys but he's not the first group of guys. So yeah he's settling down he's throwing the ball well making good decisions. That's what you want to see out of a quarterback that's what you're getting out of that guy right there. In control. Terps won last week against Michigan State. A lot of head shaking from Mike Loxley. Didn't like the finish. Pretty complete game today. Here's Holloman back to back carries in the first down 
as we get inside the final minute of this game. A lot of things to figure out for Indiana going into the bye week. The clock is correct. The, game will, the clock will start on my ready for play. Final 30 seconds. Soresby to the end zone, and that is caught. Anderson Kobe for a touchdown. Nice throw. Really nice throw. That's because that's good coverage. That's good coverage, and he dropped it right in the only place it could go. Now, as he's settled down, Sorsby's gotten pretty good. And doing it against a defense that has locked down other teams. It have been 10 straight games. They hadn't allowed multiple touchdowns. Watch Sorsby that. in the fourth quarter hits yeah, him for that. two. That, that's, that's good coverage. It's good coverage. He's right there. He didn't. The only problem was he didn't look when the receiver looked. So some of the other guys flag out for the defense jump. Yep. The replay on the try and put through by Freeman. I did see the bird, however. Mine was a dove. That's what I said. You just. I took you, yours. You stole my answer. I took your thumb. You're cheating on the test. <laughs> I always do. What are you talking about? Three mistakes made. But there weren't a lot of them. He'll he'll clamp down on his offensive line. He needs to get that better. And uh, but he's he's got some skill guys. <laughs> and he's got some depth with the skill guys. Well, Maryland's getting to two and zero in Big Ten play for the first time ever. Behind Talia Tungavailoa. Maryland came into this year thinking it could be a special season. It's been a perfect start. And a reminder of that Rose Bowl, that Orange Bowl team in 2001. They are 5-0 for the first time since then, beating Indiana 44-17. 